According to any dude you've ever met at a bachelor party, non-sexual touch is by far the least satisfying of the two kind of touches. However, science tells us that non-sexual touch is incredibly important for your relationship and substantially more appropriate for the workplace. The so-called cuddle hormone, oxytocin, makes us feel safe and warm and happy. But how do we get that sweet, sweet, sweet juice from Mother Nature? Holding hands. You hold hands with someone you care about and magically your body starts producing oxytocin. <laughs> holding hands is intimate. Maybe not the kind of intimate that a sweaty weekend in Palm Springs is, but it's free and is not going to get you the kind of pregnant that neither of you can really afford right now. Studies have shown couples with high levels of oxytocin are A, more into each other, B, more likely to laugh a lot, and C, more likely to finish each other's set. All right there, man. Your studies have shown that loving and hugging and squeezing my old lady is going to give us a lot more satisfaction in our relationship with all likelihood will lower the chance of us getting divorced, which would likely bankrupt me both monetarily and spiritually. And studies have shown that men who are unmarried by a certain age are more likely to die. What else is in it for me, brother? Oh my God. Thank you so much. Well-timed and perfectly executed stereotypical Southern guy. And a little practical advice from the old In the almost half dozen times I've tried it, holding hands a lot of times leads to holding something else. Don't say you hear it here though. Fantastic. If you want to know more about the incredible importance and far-ranging benefits of non-sexual touch, check us out at yourtango.com slash radical acceptance or radicalacceptance.love or pre-order Radical Acceptance everywhere you like to buy books. <laughs> <laughs>